So I invite you into the portal of Coatepec. Now, my work is primarily influenced by Mesoamerican art history and Mesoamerican mythology and science fiction. And uh, in my case, uh, growing up during the space race was really the key factor that brought me into, into creating work that is now called Chicano Futurism. Chicano Futurism combines the ancient, the modern, and the future into one dynamic form. When we tell stories like these, one of the things that I concentrate on is knowing as much as possible about Mesoamerican aesthetics, culture, stories, and an ancient culture so that I can plot out locations because as, an, as a sculptor, what I do primarily is I create multimedia installations that are site specific. This is the portal of Guatepec. It is the mountain of snakes where the earth mother from Mesoamerican mythology uh, lived. Now, um, at that mountain, uh, one very, very important thing happened. The war god, Huichilopochtli, was born. And he was born out of immaculate conception, but his sister, Koyoshakwi, the moon goddess, what she did was she found out that her mom was pregnant without a father, and that had soiled the family reputation. So she went down south, and she gathered up her 400 innumerable brothers. 400 in uh, Mesoamerican culture is number for infinity. And another thing that you want to know about uh, Mesoamerican stories and mythologies is that they are also uh, based on astronomy. So Koyoshakwi, the moon goddess, and battles it out with Huichiroposli, the sun god. And at the end of the day, the sun god wins and chops Koyoshakwi into four pieces and rolls her down. What I'm dealing with is the actual portal, the bridge. And the bridge is divided into, into the four cardinal points of the universe, and it's held up by the sky bearers, which are the four main gods within the pantheons uh, of the Mesoamerican uh, mythology. We have, well, we start with the East, Shipitotec, which is the god of the springtime. So in the case of Shipitotec, he's known as the flayed one. So the celebration for Shipitotec is the flaying of a sacrificial victim and the wearing of that skin by the priest in order to bless the grounds for the next, uh, for the next crop to come. And that's usually done in, in the springtime. And then after that, we come to the north with Tezcatlipoca, the northern portion of uh, the uh, earth or the world view for Mesoamerican mythology is always the cold, barren, dangerous place. And uh, then we have the west with Quetzalcoatl, the sun, uh, the, fly, the feathered serpent that flies and then sits in the south. And then, of course, Huichilopochtli, which is in the south. And that's the fourth one. And that's the fourth sky bearer. Now, the 400 innumerable ones represent the Pleiades, which is a constellation to the south, and that constellation is the 400 brothers. When Huichilopochtli was born, Koyoshakwi was rushing up the mountain to kill him along with, his, uh, along with his 400 brothers. One of them broke ranks, went up the hill ahead of them, and warned Huichilopochtli. He was born fully grown, fully armored, and jumped out and killed his sister, and then chased after the 400 into the corners of the universe. So that story is the basis for this portal installation. And each one of these sky bearers are placed in the cardinal direction. And that's the degree of, of uh, preciseness with the installation, which is site specific. And then there's the fifth point, or so to speak, the fifth element. When you're in the center, you become the axis mundi. The axis mundi is the connection bridge between the upper world, the real world, and the lower world. And so you become, you become the axis mundi. And that's what, what it means. You are the center of your universe. And that's the story that is produced with this bridge here.